How's it going, guys and geeks? Welcome to the Geek Critique Show. My name is Dakota. And I'm Jen. And big news coming from Doctor Who. Lots of changes are coming to the show. Uh, a lot of them I'm really looking forward to. And some confirmation on huge news that I've been wanting for years. So, all that and more right after this. Show me what you got. <laughs> So the mirror is reporting on some pretty big news. The way that the show is being run is being changed, which is pretty exciting. Um, this is something that Dakota and I have talked about in the past on the show and something that we've really wanted. We're going to get some pure historicals. So Finally. the show is going to kind of go back slightly towards the direction of which it started, which is supposed to be more educational. And this is something that I'm just absolutely so stoked about. There'll be 10 episodes in all. Three, I believe, are going to be pure historicals. Three are going to be set in the future, and the rest are going to be set in present day. I'm hearing that it's actually nine stories in total, and one of one of the stories is going to be a two-parter. Oh, a double? Yeah, we don't know which one exactly at this point. Uh, that hasn't really been confirmed. So probably one of the present day. Yeah, maybe. I I'm assuming the finale will be a two-parter. Mm -hmm. Um, which I'm okay with. If they do it right, the longer the story, the better. I'm really excited for the pure historicals. We've been talking about pure historicals for a while, and for those of you who aren't as acquainted with the notion of pure historicals as we are, pure historicals are stories that don't have any alien or monsters uh, outside of the actual history that we go and visit. Uh, and that may not sound like typical Doctor Who, because we haven't seen that in New Who since it's been uh, revamped in 2005. Mm -hmm. I made a mistake last time we talked about Doctor Who where I said we hadn't had a pure historical since the 60s. That isn't necessarily true. We did have one called Black Orchid in the 80s, but I totally forgot about that one. But anyway, this is this is huge. I can see like where Chris Chibnall, the new showrunner, is going with the direction of this, and it looks and sounds like he's trying to legitimize the show yeah. a little bit. Not that it's strayed from the norm, but... Uh, every showrunner wants to do something different. They want to have their, their own mark on the show. And I have a feeling Chibnall is going to try and go for a less campy tone. Yeah. Which I'm totally all for because I, I love science fiction, but sometimes Doctor Who strays way into science fantasy and it just becomes childish at, at certain points. I don't mind when it's science fantasy. I also really enjoy that. I don't think it needs to follow the rules that we have said. I do wish there were a bit more rules, but that's a whole other video right there. But overall, I, I like the idea of them doing pure historicals just because I love to learn about history and I I love Doctor Who and I would love to see how the Doctor fits into just random historical events. Yeah, just placing time travel in a historical mm -hmm. episode is in and of itself science fiction yeah which i love i, I love and, that and some of my favorite episodes are where they just go back in history even if there are some kind of aliens or something like the one with um vincent van gogh or the one with pompeii i think those are all really great episodes so i just like the historicals in general but pure historical just sounds amazing to me i think those episodes would have been just as good had they not incorporated some supernatural elements yeah but like you said we're also getting uh three stories in present day and three stories in the future. So we are going to be seeing monsters and stuff yeah, like that. You can't just take episodes. that out of the whole season. <laughs> that would be crazy talk. But I do like the notion that they're going for a more educational, like Sidney Newman type of show. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. Also, another thing that I think is kind of interesting is the doctor is going to be taking the companions back to times of history that kind of affect their, or like, big milestones in, in history as far as the companion's ancestry goes. Their names are Yasmin and Ryan. Um, so they're going to be going to back to parts of India and also as we already talked about the Rosa Parks episode. I think that's kind of cool too. It's like a little magic school busy to me. Yeah. <laughs> Not that they ever go back like that, you know, the magic school bus is very different, but kind of like... Yeah, like, let's appreciate your ancestry a little bit better. Yeah, I think that's a... I think it's a fun idea. I mean, I would love to go back to wherever the heck I'm from. For the 1950s Rosa Parks episode, The Civil Rights Movement, um, they filmed in Cape Town, South Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, and it appears that they're going to India now 
to explore Yasmin's heritage. We don't really know what kind of story they're going uh, to incorporate there. Personally, we don't know all that much about India, so any stories will be really cool in that time frame if it is a historical. Yeah. So that would also be really, really cool. Another pure historical that we might be getting is a, a look back to like the 15, 1600s with uh, James VI, uh, the King of Scotland, or James I rather, who became... He became, he was James VI, then he became James I when he became King of England and Ireland. Kind of confusing, but he started from the six, now he's one. <laughs> he subtracted five. The companions are actually just going back for a basic math lesson. <laughs> yes. And Alan Cummings is going to be playing that character, which I'm extremely excited about because I love him as an actor. He's just so quirky and he, he would have been a great doctor in and of himself. If you guys grew up in the 90s... You probably know his work on, like, Spy Kids. He was Floop. Floop! <laughs> Floop is a madman. Help us. Save us. I haven't seen those movies, so I keep hearing recently, for some reason, I keep hearing more details about what? these movies. <sighs> like, so the thumb people. Like, I didn't know that this existed, so... Thumb thumbs. I don't know why, like, randomly people keep making references about this movie in front of me, so I should probably watch it at some point. I feel yeah. like it'll be really outdated by now, though. Definitely. <laughs> uh, he also played Nightcrawler in X2. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys definitely recognize him if you're following this channel. What do you guys think about all this Doctor Who news? Obviously, the huge change would be... Uh, if the rumors are true that they are doing pure historicals. This hasn't been entirely confirmed, but the source is a reputable one, and they have a, a large basis for their facts. I'm extremely excited, but apparently this is, like, dividing the community a little bit. Some people... Oh, really? People some, are upset? Yeah, some people really... Of course, people are upset. Some That's people true. really want to see... Or keep the thing going with, like, monsters in every episode and stuff like that. It's not like they're taking him away completely. Like, I would be bummed out if it became just a historical show and no monsters. For us, this isn't, like, a shock. Well, it's, a, like, it's surprising, but it's something we've wanted for a while. So maybe I don't know how I would have felt if it was just... No, I still would have been really happy. I don't know what I'm talking about. I would have been stoked. Let us know what you guys think about all the upcoming changes, potential or real, in the comment section down below. We want to know what your thoughts are. Will this help legitimize uh, Doctor Who for a broader audience, maybe, maybe a more mature audience? Or will this retain some of the companies that we know and love? Or maybe it'll just draw on a younger audience because parents will be wanting their kid to watch this. Perhaps, yeah. It's always good for a show to continue to uh, draw in a new audience if it wants to stay relevant. So yeah, let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you like this video and want to see more Doctor Who discussions just like this, or even just regular geeky discussions because we're, we're doing all sorts of stuff. I'm exporting the Jessica Jones Season 2 review as we speak. His computer is over there if you're wondering what he's pointing at. <laughs> no, I'm pointing at my cameraman. <laughs> There's no cameraman. No. Thanks, guys. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a good one. Bye.